Greetings, YouTube. One of the classic definitions of insanity is doing the same action and expecting different results. And by that definition, my state of New Hampshire here in the United States of America has just declared that it is in fact under the effects of some form of mass insanity. Because yesterday, during our election, they voted the Republican Party into power except for the governorship, which has been retained by John Lynch, a Democrat. But those of us who are supposed to be represented in Washington are now, are now being represented by Republicans. I'm tempted to write letters to these individuals and ask them if you're going to represent all of the, the people in New Hampshire, because I'm a resident of New Hampshire, I pay taxes in New Hampshire. In theory, at least, I'm supposed to be represented by those that go to Washington for my state. But I get the feeling they're not going to represent me, a liberal progressive. They're going to represent the business interests that funded their campaigns. They're going to represent the foolish New Hampshire citizens that voted them into power. I heard something yesterday on a YouTube video that I think was very appropriate, and I think it's a, a, a good rule of thumb for future political elections. And that is, any time a politician says they're going to cut taxes, don't vote for them. Because cutting taxes is not the solution. Taxes are the lifeblood of our nation. Without those taxes, without that lifeblood, we will wither up and we will die. We will not be able to do the things that we, as a nation, need to achieve. Rebuilding infrastructure, defense, reasonable, intelligent, well thought out defense, which would mean a defense budget probably about half the size that it currently is now. We won't be able to do things like send man to the moon, do great exploring, defend our coasts with the Coast Guard, take care of our national resources, protect the American citizens, law enforcement, financial regulation, inspection of industries, food, drugs, all the things that are the very hallmark of civilization. But no, the citizens of New Hampshire have decided that they don't want those things. They want to put people into power whose sole goal is to make sure that business interests are taken care of, whose sole goal is to make sure that the elite financial segment of our society, that top 2%, you know, the ones that are part of the top 20% that control some 84% of our economy, yeah, them, yeah, they're going to make sure that they're taken care of. But the common New Hampshire citizen, the one that voted these people into power, they're not going to care about them. They're not going to care about the unemployed, they're not going to care about the people who have no jobs because they have to stay home and take care of their children. They're not going to care about the people who are on Social Security. They're not going to care about those that don't have medical insurance or are hungry. Because all those people don't matter. What matters is the people who are wealthy, the people who funded their campaigns. So to say that I'm disappointed in my fellow New Hampshire citizens would be a bit of an understatement. This is a black, black day for New Hampshire politics. This is a black day for America. I haven't even looked at the national results yet, and I'm hesitant to do so. I know that there will be a number of YouTube channels that will cover it for me, and I'll go listen to them. I don't need to do the research myself today. But I'm not happy with my fellow citizens today. They've done things that make no sense. They've done things that are going to harm me that are going to harm them. They're going to harm their entire state and their entire nation. 
and they've done this believing that it's going to help, which is the most bizarre part of this whole process. So a mass hysterica, hysterica has gripped my state. And once again, the American people have been fooled. Once again, the American people have let themselves be used and manipulated and made to look like fools.